Hi, and welcome to another instruction video. Uh, we're going to give you some tips today on how to fly in strong winds. If you're a pilot and you want to improve your confidence in flying your drone in stronger winds, then listen to this video and we'll give you a few tips. So, if you realise today, it's been one of the strongest wind warnings that we've seen uh, in Britain for a long time, uh, for many years. Uh, I'm a person who lives in a very windy area called Anglesey and today's winds have probably been about 50, 60 miles an hour and uh, to be honest with you, it's not that different to what we're used to. So I'm actually a pilot that's actually used to flying in strong winds quite regularly. But if you're not, then maybe there's something to think about. Some little tips I'm about to give you in this video to boost your confidence. Well, the first thing I would like to say to you is your drone. What type of drone have you got? Because if you've got one of these toy drones without a GPS or satellite signal, then it's probably not the best thing to do uh, to fly your drone in high winds because it'll just get blown everywhere. But if you have got a more up-to-date drone, more professional drone, then where would I start with high wind flying? Well, first of all, you need to find an area that's flat and slightly sheltered. Now, what I mean by that is where you've got shelter from the wind. Maybe there's a, a small hill somewhere, an overhang or a wall, or even a, a valley. Somewhere where you've got wind shelter to take off your drone from the ground. Now it's, it's important that you've got a nice safe place to land the drone that's not too windy because sometimes they don't like landing in strong winds and you could damage your drone. So first of all, is find a nice area that's sheltered. My second point is, so first of all, when you take your drone off on a stronger windy day, then you could raise your drone probably not more than three to four feet on the ground, very low, and see how your drone is handling the air at a time. Because what you'll get used to is you'll you'll learn more about how your drone flies in strong winds. Now you'll see depending on what model you've got, how well it goes. But I've obviously built up my confidence levels. Uh, well, I've started with low winds and built myself up in higher and higher and higher and higher winds, enabling me to do flying safely. But like I said, don't take any chances. Know the boundaries of your drone and the boundaries of your own confidence as well. Don't fly uh, beyond those things, not knowing what your drone could do, because that could cause a, a real problem, couldn't it? An issue. So I thought I'd come inside uh, today to just explain a few little. Uh, things due to the wind being so high yesterday and my audio is not being fantastic I really do need to get an outside microphone anyway fly by your own limitations and your own confidence levels that's very important you don't go out and start flying in crazy weather uh, to see if your drone can handle it with no absolute um, background or history and building up in different types of winds and the key is start off very small start off in a little bit more wind than you're used to flying uh, that could be maybe just 20 knots for some people and the key is watching the drone and how the drone uses i've got my special i love my mavic 2 pro still a fantastic drone and watching how your drone uh, reacts in the wind is very important to see how it's working out at any particular time that your drone is being pushed by the wind away from you when you're pushing your joysticks forward it's very important that you bring your drone straight back down and the key is not going too high is do it gradually in stages now we use the wind protection like we mentioned with the hills or a wall or something like that to protect the wind but then obviously as you elevate your drone the wind is going to become stronger and then at that point when you leave the protection of the boundary wall that you're using with your drone that's when it hits full wind on full course and that there is where you see how your drone is reacting now my other point is the question, why do you need to fly your drone in high winds? Well, the answer to that question is you don't. Uh, you stay safe, you protect your drone, you look after your equipment. But raising your confidence levels when the wind is up does serve a purpose. If particularly you're on a job, uh, in a commercial job somewhere, and the weather is slightly stronger the wind than you imagined it to be, it gives you that confidence that when you arrive there, that you can fly your drone in high, slightly high winds and you know the capability of your drone. At any point you feel that you're jeopardizing your machine, then you should uh, refuse to fly. And it's, it's better doing that than having an accident, isn't it? So start off very slowly, 
is the, is the key and three to four feet above the ground is, is is reasonable to start you don't have to fly 50 foot in the air to see how your drone's reacting you get your confidence levels and higher winds on lower lower uh, altitudes so watch your drone go forwards and backwards left and right just see how your drone reacts and usually find if it's holding it might whine a little bit especially with the motors you'll see but uh, you'll look at the footage on your camera you'll see it's still rather smooth now I wouldn't take my Pro 2 uh, into winds like they do with the Mavic 3 because I know the Mavic 2 isn't as good well designed in high winds the Mavic 3 is the best uh, drone that I have seen in high winds now if you're creating content like me uh, sometimes I love watching the waves slow-mo on the Mavic 3 is absolutely fantastic but the key is is making sure that you're safe and when you're on your job and you've realized that the wind is higher if you've been practicing with your drone beforehand and you know the capabilities of your drone and your own confidence levels then that is a good exercise for you to do so remember start off very small altitude low and slowly raise your drone into the sky now as you raise it obviously the wind is stronger as you go up the higher you are and you'll see how important it is uh, if any time your drone is drifting and being pulled away by the wind then you know immediately that's a danger to the drone the GPS is pulling the GPS out and your drone is drifting away now bring it immediately down to ground to and ground the drone to be safe so like I said confidence levels start off slow build them up stronger winds stronger winds and at the end of the day always be safe I mean it's your risk at the end of the day if you're gonna fly in high winds uh, we don't recommend anybody take any chances at all with the machines. So thanks for watching. There's a few tips there. If you want to get in touch with me, some more comments or whatever, put them down below. So we'll show you some footage now. You can still see uh, the waves. They're not so big because the, the wind wasn't behind the waves, pushing the headland in. That's when you really get the massive, massive uh, white horses coming over. I live in a windy area. I live near the beach. And so wind here is part of parcel of life, I think, in Anglesey. Uh, so I do lots of stuff with kite surfers. Uh, over strong winds and I like to know the capability of my drone uh, particularly maybe in nautical with boats and things like that also sailing uh, and other types of uh, seascapes so that's why I like to have um, slightly more confidence in flying in big winds but if you live in a city you don't need to you don't need to at all but it's a good exercise to take sometimes just to see how your capabilities are with your drone and how well your drone handles don't fly a mini into strong winds because a mini will just get flown anywhere don't fly on these toy drones because they'll just be taken off to island somewhere like that so don't put your machine in at risk so thanks for watching uh hope you enjoyed the video and here's some footage see you later bye i'm john davis from jd media film see you later